Hi everybody, I'm back and I have a big, very big review from Lush. Um, I have this, some new launches, and then I have this. So, oh my gosh. So let's do, I went to the store, so they put it in that box for me. So let's do this real quick and then I will review what's in the box. So, first of all, these are new launches. Um, they didn't have the rose one, the bubble bar, um, which is pretty cool. I don't really like rose scents, but it's pretty. So this one is called Rose Queen. Right, dear? Yeah. I always forget. I, I kept going, looking. We went to Kona Grill, as you can see on Instagram. Anyway, this fills your tub up with rose petals. Now, I'm not big into roses, so... Yeah, there's what it looks like. It smells... Doesn't smell real rosy, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. I was thinking it was a dragon's egg, actually, but um, I looked on the label and it said Rose Queen. So, there's that. The new launch for Mother's Day. I was looking through their Mother's Day. My mom does, is not around the bathtub that she could use. So, I couldn't really get her anything anyway. She likes Lush, but... Anyway, so then I got Anthony a couple. I got... Let me show you this. This is really cute. Smells good. I've got to get using my stuff. My Lush it is getting insanely the collection ginormous again. Here is Mother Superior. I guess she's supposed to be. She's, it smells fabulous. She's really cute. Smells very fresh, kind of like baby powder, and it's a bubble bar. Very, very, very fresh. Um, like you can stick your finger through it. I don't want to crumble it. It smells like baby powder. I didn't read the notes, but yeah. So this is Mother Superior. Wow, just smells really fresh. I want to almost like leave it on my bedside, on a table, on a plate or something. It smells that great. Wow, really smells good. Really good. Almost like the ha the yeah the Halloween stuff. Is the Halloween? The fall, the fall launch. Yeah, the the pumpkin and the Halloween. The um, what was that little triangle? The wizard. That one smelled awesome. So then there was a really cool product that I happened to see. It was pink out of the corner of my eye. I thought I gotta grab this. These are kind of ex whoa, kind of expensive. But I thought I would grab it for Anthony. Um, I'm gonna get my hair colored, but. Um, since he shaves his head, and it's called Lullaby, um, I didn't read the notes, but it's a pink shampoo bar. I mean, pink. This is really cool. Light pink. And I said, is this for babies? Now, it smells a little bit lavendery. Um, she said you could use it for babies, because it was called Lullaby, and I thought, that's interesting, because I hadn't seen it on Lush before, but I haven't been on their website for a while. You haven't been in their store either. So it smells kind of lavendery. Um, so I'll have to see what Anthony thinks. We have one of the tins. Um, it had one of those red with the uh, cinnamon sticks in it. Kind of wet and mucky. I threw it away in it, inside of it. So we just have an empty one right now. And then there was um, another thing I saw. And I was like, what is this? And then if you get on my Instagram, there's I didn't buy any of the the soap. Um, I think it's for it's it says for for mom soap for mom or something. A big round of it, and it's beautiful. If you look at it on my Instagram, it almost looks like a plate. It is gorgeous. But I think that half round, if you were to buy it, it'd be like two hundred dollars. Insanely beautiful. Anyway, this is big solid conditioner. And I didn't buy this. I asked for a sample because I thought before I buy it, because I like the big solid, I mean, the, the, big, the big conditioner, because it's like sandy. It feels nasty, but when you put it in your hair, it really makes it soft and shiny. I mean, it's really sandy, and it feels gross in your hands. It doesn't smell real great, but it makes your hair really soft. So I thought, hey, I'm going to try this. So it comes in a solid. Yeah, this is what it looks like. So I thought, hey, and I can almost put my, oh my goodness, it's, it was melting in the car. 
So yeah, it's, you can put your fingers through it. Wow. Look at that. I can push my finger indention through. Look at that. So yeah, we oh my goodness, I hope this box behind me is not melted because it was very not very not cheap. So let me <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Let me put these back in the bag and let me get the box out. And then I have a beautiful pottery barn review. Awesome. I'll have to do that separate. And then I've got to open a new channel as soon as I figure out how to do it. It's been so long. Yeah, I need to start another channel. This is nuts. I'm getting too many videos. And then I found this just real quick. I know I don't like to mix. This was inside of my glossy box. Um, inside of my glossy box makeup bag. Now, I couldn't believe I opened this. I opened this up. It was in plastic. And I had no clue that there was a gift card inside of it. So I needed to to look this up and see what it's for. Um, it's T and F, which is like Thursday and Friday website. And to me, it looks like it's a website for purses. So I need to look it up and see what it's good for. Because the last one, I got a, a, a shirt that was completely free from a high-end New York store. It was crazy. I think it was worth $50 from um glossy box it was crazy i'm not going to put it back in here but yeah it was inside and i would have never thought to open it uh it says glossy box uh thursday and friday on the label so yeah that must have been where they had these made i've never heard of that website but i i thought i'm going to open that up because it was wrapped in plastic and just see if there's anything in it and this was in here it says mystery gift so yeah, I will look look at this and see whoops what the code is. Not to uh separate Lush from I don't like to mix companies, but I just thought I would tell you about that. And my Luxor box came today. I missed the mailman. I want to die. I was told it was coming Monday, so it might might have been something else. My Victoria's or another box, but I'm thinking it was a Luxor box, but anyway, so this is the big daddy of all kahunas. I might keep this for when we move. Yeah, I've been wanting this for a while. Yeah, the art of bathing. Awesome box. Really awesome box. So I opened it up. There it is. It's ginormous. It was, I think it was $117. Crazy. So this is what it looks like. It's got a really, I wanted this at Christmas, um, except the only reason I didn't get it at Christmas is because it didn't have Christmas items in it, but it has, that's how many items it has in it. It's crazy. Look, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 items. So let's get reviewing. Whoops. And then I'm going to show you these. I'll, I'll upload this and show you the coolest stuff that I got from Pottery Barn for a new abode. Anyway, so lift the lid off. Really cool lid. I mean, yeah. So that's what the lid looks like. And then it's pink inside. I mean, how cool is that? Look at that. And it smells fabulous. So... I will just go through this really quick. What's in my gift? It tells you, um, has a little what's in my gift. And then it has a, uh, value, value in the core of everything we do. Da 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 da. Fight animal testing. Lush. Welcome to Lush. Da da da. This is for somebody that doesn't know about Lush. They can read about the company. So it has a, Granny takes a dip. Um, which is a bath bomb. It has a, this looks to be a biz banger. Yellow. This one pops, pops, pops. It goes nutso. Anthony loved it because it was very lemony. Yeah, biz banger. Yep. Very, very lemony. He loved it. So, then it has a bright side. Not at this one's perfect. Bright side. He loves this. These are all really fresh. So yeah, 
This one must be a dragon's egg. Yes, very bright. Um, you can see it kind of popping out of the sides, the colors. Yes, dragon's egg smells fabulous. Dragon's egg has, doesn't say, it's like jasmine, kind of smells like, yeah. And then here is a smaller, this looks like a uh, bubble room. No, yeah, a rose jam bubble room. Uh, yep. And then here is a big blue, which is not my favorite because it has seaweed in it. I just kind of like the box and I just grabbed it. Yeah, I don't like the seaweed floating in the tub. I just think that's kind of gross. I have to kind of filter it out. But. So there's that one. And then here is a MMM Melting Marshmallow Moments. It was a hundred over a hundred dollars this box. There's the M M M melting marshmallow moments. This is a bath melt. Here is a this one is a butter ball. Right here. And this is smells like toffee to me. So yeah. And then this one is wrapped. This is a wow, this one's a weird looking one. A is it a bright side? Sunny side. This one doesn't have as much glitter on it as the one I have, which is nice. The gl the glitter all the way around it kind of scares me. I don't know. I just don't like that much glitter in a bath product. It just kind of does seem not natural. I don't know. So yeah. I'm not saying anything bad about it, but and then here is a Phoenix Rising. Right here. I love the purple. It's spicy, spicy, spicy. Uh smells like patchouli, cinnamony. There's a cinnamon stick on the top. It's got mica, gold mica, just real spicy. So yeah. Here's that. Tell you the truth, I've had a bazillion Phoenix Risings. I don't know if I've ever used one, but it's spicy and warm and so yeah. And then there is this one is uh oh, oh is this broken? Please tell I looked in it in it before I left. I wanted to make sure nothing was broken. This is a is a tip is a tipsy toasty, what's it called? Titsy toasty bath bomb. Um, I'm not big on roses. I, I love roses of flower, but I'm not big on them in the bath water. But there it is. It's pretty. Look nice in a plate or something. And this is like a bath bomb, but I call it like a bath salt. It's kind of saltier, different. Here is a, this one is a Abel bath. Got a little bit of a crack in it. But... Pretty good product, says Lush on it. Wow. Then we got a ginormous comforter. Ginormous. Right there. There's the other side. Not not as pretty. This is Blackberry Current. Love it, love it. Really love it. And then there's two more products. There is a blue fun. Never tried the blue. I tried the pink. There's a blue fun. Now I have the snowman one. I have three of them. I've got to use them. The blue fun smells like this is what a softy. This smells like patchouli. I would say, and it's very, very soft. So this box must be very, very new. They must have gotten it in from other say. They must have. Then there's one more, and this one is not a favorite. This I think this is a Sarah one's cauldron, and I have run one over there, which is it's got um, cheesecloth around it. I can't remember what it smells like in the tub, but it's not a favorite of mine. 
I'm not saying it's bad, it's just not a favorite. So here is the Sarah one cauldron. Cauldron. So yeah, what I usually do is take the cheesecloth and hang it from the spigot of the bathtub. And um, as the water runs through it, it'll melt it. And it catches everything in the cheesecloth. And this here doesn't give a description of every item. It gives tells what every item in the box is, but it doesn't tell what scent it is. And then over here it tells how to use what a bath bomb is, what a bubble bar is, what a luxury bath melt is, what what it, what to use fun for, and what a bubble room. It says for the bubble room, crumble under running water as you fill the tub for mountains of uh, fluffy fragrant bubbles fun use a soap or shampoo take a small bit in your hand hop in the tub lather up if you fancy a bubble bath crumble a small piece under running tap water for mountains of suds luxury bath melt uh, drop into the tub and let the natural oils and butter soften and moisturize your skin and I like to take um, the you've been mangoed and use that as a body butter too they make it make your that's another tip. If you don't want to use it as a bath melt, you can take a little tiny piece of it off and rub it in and use it as a body butter. Your skin will just soak it in. So that is everything in the art of bathing. Crazy. Ginormous. So yeah, there's the side of the box. It says art of bathing. And the bottom is just pink. So I'm going to put the lid on. I will get this uploaded. It says who made it. This gift was loving ink pack by Rosemary's team. So once again, here's the bot, the lid. It's ginormous. Yeah. So I had my eye on this for quite a while, and Anthony said get it. So I was like, okay. So I made sure it was every everything was intact, and it was. I just wanted to check. And then they showed me these cool carrying cases that they had. And I was like, wow, that's cool. So I will get this uploaded. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up. I'll be right back with my Pottery Barn. You guys are going to love it. It's awesome. And then I have a bunch more reviews. I'm just going to have to do them slowly. Um, from a company in Canada, I have a review sitting on the bed. They sent me some stuff. And, yeah, just stuff. So coming in is faster than I can blog it. So or blog it, blog it, yeah. So um, I'm hoping to start a new channel because I am getting 679. Oh my goodness, 680 videos. That is crazy. So let me put this back in here real quick. That's really cool. Um, I'm gonna set that on the floor. I'm trying to get the bed cleared off. So I'm packing things up. Anyway, I dropped these on the floor. These are the kind that you can throw in the sink and um, they will melt away under warm water. So yeah, and then I will, when I can let you guys know what this mystery gift is in the glossy box, a lot of people probably have not even to this day even peeked in that um, makeup bag, but yeah, there's a gift card in it, and it doesn't even say on the, I went back to the glossy box card, so it's like a surprise, so I was like, whoa, I need to see, because this, there was like purses on this website, and yeah, I need to check it out, it gives you a code, I think you have to go to the checkout, so what you could do is probably throw something in your basket, and go to checkout, and put this code in and find out what it's good for and then you can empty your basket or decide or find something you like throw it in your basket something inexpensive and then go to check out and find out what it is but I don't think you can just go to check out and find out what it is without anything else in your basket so you see what I'm saying you don't have to buy what's in your basket but to find out what the card is worth you need to yeah so I will see you guys in a minute. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Sub, sub, sub. Give me a thumbs up, please. And I will see you in a minute. I'm going to do the Pottery Barn and we will be done. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Sub, sub, sub. Bye.